What is going on guys, it's Fighting Angel and I'm back with another farm guide. This time we are, I'm going to be showing you guys the early game Delirium farm for Lords of the Fallen. With this farm you can get your weapon to plus 9. So to start you need to have the Forsaken Fane Lookout unlocked. Uh, by this time we get to the Vestige of Allied you had to probably beat the Congregator of Flesh, that's the boss. Um, so from this vestige, we're gonna have to actually unlock that door that you see there on the very end. That's gonna become a shortcut, very important for us. So stay with me and just go through this door right here with all the fire is. And we're gonna just run all the way. As right now, this is just showing you how to unlock that shortcut you're gonna go left you're gonna follow this path and we're going to cross this tree right here going all the way this way as you can see the door is right here that's that's how you unlock it and we're right here at the vestige simple and easy if you just run all the way through just be careful with all the poison stuff there's a lot of poison on this area so now we're actually gonna begin our farm route so from here you're gonna take mr styly hair here out and you're gonna go onto umbral right here after you went into umbral you're gonna climb this ladder And when you up this layer, I'm going, going to show you something that you guys can actually get that will uh, boost your item discovery rate. This is the Lucky Pot. I will show you where to get this that you can buy on this area. So pop one of those up. This is going to help you get those items, upgraded materials that you need. So from this way. gonna go all the way back here we're gonna kill a couple guys here just be careful this area for new players it can be very challenging so we got that they will also drop a lot of consumables they will drop armor armor pieces they'll drop weapons so over here you're gonna exit emerald now behind this wood plank right here we got a, a large enemy here so this guy can be quite challenging but if i was you the best thing to do is soul flame and pull his soul out and just go ahead and beat his soul as much as you can this is gonna do some uh, some extra damage. Pull that soul out, and after you kill him, he will always drop large delirium charge. As you can see, he will drop a couple other things: the holy bulwark mace and bleed cure. So proceed this way. As you can see, this guy don't this guy draw us some arrow some of uh, the our maze now this guy on the bridge if you're playing as a ma uh, mage or any range weapon that you got with you you can take this guy out because we're gonna actually have to use the um, the lantern here so we can actually cross this bridge and go ahead Cross the bridge and chain my weapon. There's a lot of enemies here that can hurt you. Go ahead and kill them all here. As you can see, we get regular delirium nuggets. Get some uh, armor pieces here to you. A lot of consumables. 
We're gonna continue along this pit, and we got this guy, this big boy here. This guy, for some reason, has a has less health than that first guy we fought. I don't know. I don't know why. Go ahead and kill him. As you can see, this guy will not did not drop us anything. We're gonna go this way. You can see we already got a loot here. I'm gonna kill this guy. Got the blessed resistance bomb. It's a lot of quite cool loots that these guys will drop. And not this merchant here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm at. That's that's the vestige of uh, Alleran. You get to this vestige after you beat the mini boss. I forgot her name now. But uh, go this way. And this is your merchant. And this is where you can buy Hello again, the, the Lucky Pulse. Right here, as you can see, the Lucky Pulse. A rabbit's foot, which boosts eating discovery rate. So go ahead. And buy uh, s some of these right here. You'll get, that's gonna help you with this farm. And all you gotta do here is just warp back to the um, to the vestige, to the fan, and do it all over again. So I'm gonna do it one more time. As you can see, you get pretty cool vigor too. It's a very good vigor farm too. You see, these guys will drop a lot of stuff. Uh, weapons, uh, consumables, all that good stuff these guys will drop. Going to Ambrel. Gonna, gonna go ahead and uh, pop one of these. Gonna go and kill this guy. Try to avoid the poison. Can do a little sweep for your souls here. You got my exit ambro. As you guys know we already got the big boy here. You guys know exactly what to do here. Just be careful, this guy hits very hard. This guy will definitely hit harder than the... That second one that we fight. As you can see, another large learning chart. Some more armor stuff. You already know you got your uh, your archer there. Yeah, take him out. You can see they got a two shot pattern. We didn't get nothing this time. It's not always guaranteed that you're gonna have loot. As you can see, more large Darlene charts. 
We got our last guy here to kill. See, he didn't drop. He dropped us some ammunition pals. They will definitely drop those too. And all you gotta do is just rinse and repeat. Make sure to buy the lucky paw. Lucky paw. That's gonna help you a lot. And this is the 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 farm guys i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys did make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one